there, I hope you're doing well. I'm filming later in the day, so if it is dark and you see some like weird shadows going on, then I'm really sorry. I try not to film. There's a weird shadow right there. Um, I try not to film at night, but I am in a certain mood. I am in the mood to organize. I'm not sure if you guys are like me. Sometimes when you get a little stir crazy, you just want to organize to kind of put your mind at reset. And I have some things in mind that I want to do. With this reorganization that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, I thought it'd be fun just to share what I have, inventory, and put these into my official project, use it up. If you guys watched that video, you know that it's mostly going to be candles that I'm trying to get through. My feelings on my body care are this. I think that I have a good grasp on it. However, as I go through this, my thoughts could change. We shall see. And then as far as hand soaps, I like to kind of keep like back stock on my hand soaps. I only buy my hand soaps from Bath and Body Works when they're on sale. I've never bought like the six for whatever the deal is, six for 30? I don't even know what the deal is. I just always try to buy them when they're like 75% off at SAF. And I try to just kind of stock up so it'll last me until the next time I need it. And I kind of base my hand soaps on how many I can fit in one of those um, drawers. Okay, I'm rambling. So what I'm going to do is pull out everything and then I will show you everything I have in each category. And then at the end, I will put it back in, in an organized fashion, hopefully as organized as I can. And then I'll share that with you guys as well. All right, guys, so we will start with my hand soap collection. Altogether, I have 33 hand soaps. I feel like 33 is a really good number for me to have. I don't feel overwhelmed by this number at all. And I have hand soaps in every season. So this will last me until next year. Typically, my partner and I go through about two, um, three if we're really, you know, really scrubbing our hands. Um, but I feel like this will definitely last me up until the next time I need to restock. And also I like to have a few extra hand soaps on hand <laughs> just in case there is a birthday or there's a gift that I have to give for any reason. Hand soaps are always like my go-to thing. Um, hand soaps, hand sanitizer, and like a lotion are like my go-to gifts for people. I have afternoon apple picking, which is one of my favorite soaps of all time. I have pumpkin apple, which smells very similar to the pumpkin apple candle. Happy Haunting is next in that green label, which is very beautiful. Happy Haunting is actually just Island Margarita repackaged in a Halloween theme. Ghoul Friend, which is a peony and berry maybe? It's a very floral scent, uh, as well as Candy Corn. Moving on, I have Crisp Morning Air. Next to that is Flannel, which I also really love that flannel. Um, soap that smells just like the candle. Mary Berry Cheer, which is very hard to read in this light. We also have Frozen Lake. Next to Frozen Lake is Winter Berry Ice. So we have Twisted Peppermint, Winter Candy Apple, Iced Cinnamon Rolls, which is actually like an orange cinnamon scent. It's very unique. Um, Snowy Peach Berry, Vanilla Bean Noel, and next to Vanilla Bean Noel, we have another Vanilla Bean Noel in just like the white barn core packaging. Now moving right to left, we have Champagne Toast, which is the one that I'm currently using at my kitchen sink. Frosted Moscow Mule is another one that is in current use. Fresh Sparkling Snow was one that I used last month but only got through half of, so it is going back in my collection. Winter White Woods is another one that I used that is back in my collection. Those two I absolutely love and hope that I can see them again next year because I will buy more of those. Those two scents are phenomenal. I also have a Warm Vanilla Sugar, Winter Citrus Wreath. I have two Marshmallow Firesides and a Fresh Balsam over there. We have fresh cut lilacs, kitchen lemon, strawberry pound cake, raspberry tangerine, peel and good, which is banana culotta, fresh lemonade, and two blackberries and basil. And blackberries and basil is also one of my all-time favorites. If I only had to pick one scent per season, and I this is just gonna be something fun for me to share, um, it would definitely be blackberries and basil for spring. This is such a good spring or summer scent, really. It's phenomenal. Um, I would pick afternoon apple picking as my favorite go-to fall scent. 
and I would definitely pick winter white woods as my go-to winter scent. Now I've put everything away, so I figured I would just show you. This is actually three rows deep. Um, this kind of stacks up three rows. So uh, if you can see, there's one down here. This is the next layer, and then I have a third layer on top. And I can also fit some standing up this way as well. I have it organized from things that are, you know, in least use to the next season up. So at the bottom are all of my winter scents that are put away for the rest of the year. Then I have my fall and up top are all of my spring and summer scents. Um, and then on the side here, if you're curious what these ones are, these are the scents that I am not 100% positive if I personally love them. So if I want to go give a gift or something like that, then these are the ones that I will most likely pull from for gifts. I also have three of my hand soaps that are in current use that are you know, not being stored anywhere. These are on the sinks. And luckily for me, when I was going through this collection here, I did find three bottles that were leaking. So these three will go underneath the sinks, um, each sink in my house to be used next. So for Valentine's Day, I guess these are my Valentine's Day themed picks, um, which I didn't even really get to pick myself, but I'll be using Winterberry Ice, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Snowy Peach Berry for uh, February scents, just because I don't want them leaking in my, in my drawers. And that is that for my hand soap. This is what I like to call my Bath and Body Works quote unquote junk drawer. It is just filled with a bunch of nonsense. I have body, or not body sprays. I have mini body care. Well, I might have some body sprays actually, mini body sprays. I have room sprays. I have some not room sprays like um, Victoria's Secret stuff. I have car things. I have wallflowers. I have candle, magnet, lid toppers. I literally have everything you could imagine that doesn't really have, I don't have like a ton of them, just some random junk. And this, this drawer has been like bothering me forever. And I just kind of want to get a little bit more of a grasp on it. So what I'm going to do is just pull everything out and kind of lay it out and show you guys a little bit more of a cate category thing. And then put it back in in a organized fashion. I laid everything out up there in this corner here are all of my room sprays. I have two air fresheners for my car down there. All of those um, massive plastic junk things in the middle are my wallflowers. On the left hand side of my wallflowers in this pink box thing here. Those are all of my hand sanitizer. And I have two pocket back things there. I do have one that's like a Santa Claus that's on my purse now. And then I have a candle topper thing. And then at the bottom are all of my uh, travel size body care items. So first things first, this is the candle topper that I was talking about if you wanted to get a little bit better of a visual of it. Just got a tiny magnet on the back and this is really pretty. So. Um, that really should have been stored with my fall decor. I'm not sure how it got in there, but it did. It found its way in there. I have two small body care type um, lotions and body wash in Waikiki Beach Coconut. I have a mini beautiful day. This is a Victoria's Secret scent in uh, Such a Flirt. I really need to just finish this, but it's one of my favorite scents, so I'm kind of hoarding it, which I shouldn't be doing. Um, this one here is a vanilla pumpkin latte. I also have the matching vanilla pumpkin latte hand cream. I have a champagne, apple, and honey uh, body spray. And I have three more creams. Two are in Twisted Peppermint and one is in Sunset Glow. So those are all of my minis. My two car fragrances I have are Evergreen Mist from Yankee Candle and Farm Stand Festival. This is I Like You a Waffle Lot. This is a super old one in All Lakeside Breeze. I have a Perfect Pumpkin, which is just sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Two more are After 
afternoon apple picking champagne toast, which is really glittery and cool. Then I have four of these um, foaming hand soap or hand sanitizers. This one is in Vampire Blood, which is super cool. I love the packaging on that. I love Halloween. This one here is in Everything Pumpkin, which just smells like pumpkin um, cupcakes, I think. That one's almost gone. I really should just finish it. Unicorn Foam, which I'm not sure. Very magical, it says the scent is. Not really sure what that means. And another unicorn one in Unicorn Thought Bubbles, which is champagne toast. So those are all of my hand sanitizers. I will share with you my wallflower collection. So I, I do have some thoughts on wallflowers. To me, wallflowers, uh, they can be really hit or miss. Sometimes they work great and they last a long time, but then other times they seem to just kind of burn out quickly. Like I'll plug it in and it'll last for like maybe a week tops and then I won't smell it at all, but there'll still be like half of it left, which is kind of frustrating. So for that reason, I'm kind of over wallflowers a little bit. And I think once I finish this um, very small bag that I have left of what, like maybe six, seven something wallflowers, then I most likely will not purchase any more um, unless there's like a scent that is an all time favorite, must have something like that. But I think that once I kind of run out, then I'll see if any of my friends or family want these and probably just pass these along. Um, this one here is a really pretty pumpkin shaped wallflower holder thing. This one is a Christmas tree, which is kind of cool. It's got like frosted sparkles on it. I do really like how that one looks when it's up around Christmas. This one is super reflective. Um, I don't know, it's got plants like succulents in it and like a geometric thing. This one's really simple and I had this in my office. It's just kind of girly and sparkly. And I like that this one doesn't light up. Some of them, when they light up, they're just like, I don't know, kind of bright and hard to sleep around. This one is just some fall leaves. And then I also have like a classic, I think this one was like a free, a free one or something like that. Maybe, maybe my sister gave me this. I can't remember. As far as my actual wallflowers, I do have two plugged in right now. I have a caramel apple and a s'mores wallflower plugged in. I have cinnamon bark, another caramel apple. This one is pumpkin clove, crushed candy canes, and mahogany balsam. So I actually only have seven wallflowers all together, including the ones that are in my bedroom right now, which is, shocking and so like i said once i finish those seven i probably won't purchase any more peppermint marshmallow crushed candy canes the perfect christmas merry mistletoe fresh balsam mahogany teakwood snowflakes and citrus this one is flannel this one is christmas cookies balsam and clove and sun and sand. So I have 11 of these room sprays and my goal is to get it down to just six um, so I'd like to use up at least five of these. And that is um, in terms of like by next year. So let me put these back in my Sterilite bin and then I'll show you hopefully how organized it looks. We'll see. So I'm not sure if this looks 100% better, but it's at least 50% better. Wallflowers, you really can't organize these in any kind of way. So these are thrown gently into here. The wallflower bulbs are on the right. I have all of my room sprays that I'm not currently using over here. My um, pocket backs, my foaming hand sanitizers, and all of my mini body care. And then my two little pocket back holder things are down there. Um, and I do have my um, one of my Yankee Candle car things over here because I do have some things I want to put into my current use pile. And those things are these. Um, this I'm going to put into my car since it's a season, you know, it's kind of like a seasonally appropriate thing, evergreen mist. We're past Christmas and typically I don't like to put tree scented things around past Christmas, but I don't know, we've been skiing up north quite a bit lately and I think that that would be fine to have in our van for now. So this is something that I am going to keep out in my purse 
just because this needs to be used first. There's barely anything left of it. Another thing that I need to just finish and get out of my collection, like I mentioned, is this such a flirt. It smells amazing. The notes are, mm, let's see, star fruit and white orchid. I feel like I just had a wax melt from Rose Girls with star fruit in it and I was obsessed with it. So maybe I just really like star fruit. We shall see. Another thing that is literally like maybe got two pumps left in it, I didn't realize until I felt it, the can. This is almost empty. It's that pumpkin cupcake, pumpkin everything. Um, little foaming hand sanitizer. And then these three um, room sprays will be going in our bathrooms. Um, I have flannel, mahogany teakwood, and snowflakes and citrus. And these all can just go into our bathrooms for now because they're they work for the season that we are in. That is another drawer down. We are making progress, guys. This is my issue. This is the big issue. This is all of my body care. Um, this is my partner's body care. These are my bath bombs from Lush. The, these are my sugar scrubs from vendor companies. Literally, this is all of it. So it looks like a bit of a mess. What I'm going to do is separate this into just my partner's stuff so I can kind of consolidate his. These are all of my partner Tom's body care products. We did a little tiny experiment a while back with Bath & Body Works men's collection that they have. And I pretty much purchased all of the different options in body wash form and let him use all of the different ones. And then he picked like what his favorite was. And I also kind of put my input in there and we both decided that fresh water was our favorite. When I heard that they were discontinuing it, I purchased uh, four backups. I purchased a uh, body cream and a body lotion. Ooh, that glare, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't like filming at night. Um, we also have a body spray, like a deodorant spray thing. And I picked this up at semi annual sale and I'm actually really pumped about this. This was like, gosh, what was it like $6 or something crazy. This is the freshwater cologne. So I'm pretty excited about that. Like just, just got that one for his body wash. Forest, I'm not like 100% obsessed with like I am with freshwater, but it's okay. And these are kind of more unisex either, you know, anything is unisex. Like you don't, you shouldn't have to put a gender on anything, but um, this I feel like kind of is a little bit more, um, more my partner's kind of thing, I guess. It's a, it's a little bit more masculine, I suppose, if we're gonna say that. But it's really, really nice. And I think it's that cedar wood that does it. It's sleep, cedar wood and vanilla. And this has got like one of those absolutely gorgeous apothecary looking jars in this beautiful blue color. So those are Tom's. All right, so I laid out all of my body washes and or shower gels, whatever you would like to call them. And I have 34 all together here. Tom has seven body washes, which is totally reasonable for him. For me, on the other hand, not so reasonable. I definitely need to use these. I'll probably dive a little bit more into realistically how much I will be able to use in a month and um, break down the number. And then I'll share that with you guys in my upcoming project, Use It Up. All right, so I have a strawberry pound cake. I have a Hello Beautiful. I have Beautiful Day. This one here is butterfly flower. I have a wild strawberry, clementine mint leaves, which is actually one of my favorite scents of all time. I love that one. Apple blossom, Christmas cocoa and mint, another Christmas cocoa and mint. This one is snowy citrus swirl, twisted peppermint, snowflakes and cashmere, winterberry wonder, as well as sparkling nights. Sparkling plum prosecco, forever red, winterberry wonder, Christmas cookies, champagne toast. I have two bottles of the aromatherapy peppermint 
scent, sugared cherry crisp, champagne apple and honey, another champagne apple and honey, which I should just finish this up. I hate using things out of season, like I mentioned, but this just needs to be used. Marshmallow pumpkin latte in the sun, which is one of my all time favorite summer scents. I have another in the sun, Fiji guava teeny papaya paradise cove, and then mango mandarin. I have a C, what is it? C.O. Bigelow, which is sold at Bath and Body Works. This is in the lemon cream scent. Honestly, this is phenomenal. It really smells like a lemon, like a creamy lemon, not bake, or it's not bakery. There's no bakery note in it, but it smells like a, I don't know, like some kind of like a lemon dessert. It's really, really yummy. I also have a um, moisturizing body wash in warm vanilla sugar. And I have a bubble cool bar in endless weekend. And this is like, just needs to be used. And then finally, I have a Zape whipped soap in Yuletide Carols. And this is one that I'm definitely going to um, finish this month. I absolutely love Zape. If you guys love Bath and Body Works and you're looking to try, you know, a different body care brand, highly, highly, highly recommend Zape. Go watch all of my other Zape videos. I'm obsessed. And personally, I would like to use up most of my Bath and Body Works products and then switch over to using mostly Zape. So this first row here are all of my spring scents. The next row back are all of the summer scents. The following row back are my fall and a little bit of winter. And then on the far, far back are all of my winter and some of Tom's backup body washes. So I do have this giant um, body wash here. And this one, I'm just gonna have to kind of like lie across the top and hope that it fits. We will see about that. Um, and as far as these two baskets go, I keep one basket underneath my sink and that basket that I keep underneath the sink is on the back here. And I'm going to, once I kind of move into the rest of the collection with the lotions and the body um, sprays, then these will be like completely filled up. And I know it's not February yet, but I'm just working on pulling my February body care basket thing now. I kind of do that. Um, if you guys watch my monthly melting basket videos, you'll see that sometimes I do like a themed month for my body care as well. These are all of my scents that I'm hoping to get some more use out of this month. All right, so these are my body lotions. I have 17 all together and I'll just go through them very quickly for you guys. I have a Christmas cocoa and mint, twisted peppermint, and I actually have two more twisted peppermints. I have a snowy citrus swirl, which smells like a creamsicle. And I also have just a normal peppermint from the aromatherapy line. I have a wild strawberry, a violet leaf and blackberry, mango mandarin, butterfly flower, which kind of smells like candy to me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Hello Beautiful and a beautiful day. I have a mahogany teakwood that is almost fully used up. This is super, super old. I have a strawberry pound cake, forever red. And then finally for my body lotions, I have two in the suns. And these are some of, like I said, my favorite scents. I have 16 body creams here. So I have a champagne toast. I have a magic in the air, twisted peppermint, champagne, apple and honey, and a Victoria's Secret Fresh and Clean. I have a Sparkling Night, Christmas Cocoa and Mint, Clementine and Mint Leaves, Sugared Cherry Crisp, Banana Twist, and Papaya Paradise Cove. Um, Banana Twist is a Victoria's Secret uh, lotion, just so you guys know. And moving along, I have a Winterberry Wonder over here. Christmas Cocoa and Mint again, Apple Blossom, Sparkling Plum Prosecco, and a beach bloom, I think it's called, beach bloom. Yes, and uh, that one is also from Victoria's Secret on the far right. Those are all of my body creams, and I do have a small category of kind of like random products that don't really fall into either of these. It's not really a body lotion, and it's not really a body cream, so I will, um, show you guys those. This one definitely is a body lotion, but this is a mini body lotion. I probably should have put this in my mini. This one is a body meringue, which is kind of like a, um, more of a, 
cream than a lotion. It's definitely not liquidy. It's very thick consistency, but this is from the company Zape and I do enjoy that. It is in the scent candy canes. Smells just like candy canes. Another candy cane type of scent is my Twisted Peppermint. This is a body butter. I've been working on this in my project Use It Up and I am, I'll quickly show you guys, I am like almost done with this. Like you can't really tell, but like there is maybe one or two uses left of that. So I'm pretty proud of myself there. And this one is a moisturizing apple extract. I got this a few years back at SAS. I'm not even sure if this is still good. We shall see. It looks the same as it did. It's kind of like this weird like lotion-y thing. Um, definitely a bizarre <laughs> product. So we will see. I might just, I don't know, throw, I don't know. I might throw it away. It does still smell good though. I have two more things left. This is a um, banana, banana yogurt, sorry, banana beauty body yogurt after shower cream. So this is just pretty, I didn't really know where to put that. It's definitely a creamy consistency and it smells just like banana runts. And then this is a super, super wet um, packaging. So it's hard to read, but this is Midnight Daydreams Halloween Town and it's a um, body cream. All right guys, we are so close to the end right now. I have 23 body sprays or body mists, whatever you wanna call them. I'm gonna write that down for myself right now. And um, we have kind of a little bit of a variety of Victoria's Secret mostly and Bath and Body Works. I think that that is actually all that I have. Yeah, just Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. So first things first, I will zoom you in a tiny bit more and just go over these. So I have Love Spell over here, and behind that I have Pure Seduction. And Love Spell and Pure Seduction were like my go-to scents growing up. Um, this is Fresh and Clean by Pink. I have another pink scent in Warm and Cozy. This one is fairly new. This is Banana Twist. It smells like banana runts. I have a um, Beach, or sorry, Pink Sunset. And, oh wait, how did this get over here? I have no idea, I don't, just ignore that. That is a body, well, I'll just show you now. This does not fit in here, definitely. I don't know how I put this in here. This is a two-in-one bubble bath, but. I have a Sugar Cherry Crisp, a Sparkling Plump Prosecco, Champagne Apple and Honey. This one here is um, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, Vanilla Bean, which just smells just like a straight up vanilla bean scent. Beautiful day, next to that at Sunset Glow. And then I have an In the Sun. And I also have a At the Beach. So In the Sun and At the Beach are two of my favorite go-to summertime, summertime scents. Christmas Cocoa and Mint, Sparkling Nights, Winter Berry Wonder, Snowflakes and Cashmere, Champagne Toast, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Mango Mandarin. So. Yes, a lot of these need to be used big time. And my biggest issue is that um, my fragrance mist, my fine fragrance mist and stuff like that, I just, I can't get through them. They take forever to use. This is my final category. I kind of call this like my scrubs and bits and bobs category. In this little genre here, or whatever you want to call this, there are 18 products in total. I'm not gonna go through my Lush bath bombs. I only have seven bath bombs right now. I have like the peach emoji one, the eggplant emoji one, um, two of the galactic ones, I think they're called, and I don't remember what the other ones are, but nothing really too special, but the scrubs I'm planning on putting in that Bath & Body Works bin where um, my bath bombs go. I have a candy cane sugar whip scrub, and this is kind of like a sugar scrub mixed with their um, soap. So it's super creamy with a little bit of exfoliating power. I also have an ugly sweater, and this is like their like big time sugar whip scrub. I did a haul video where I talked a little bit more about this and I've used it and I love it so far. I have three scrubs. One is in Twisted Peppermint, and I love how that looks. I think that that is just so cute. And I have a um, Magic in the Air Foaming Sugar Scrub and a At the Beach Sand and Sea Salt Scrub. I have two little products I got with my perfume last time I stocked up. This is a perfume I use, it's Alien. 
Um, and it smells insanely good. It's my favorite. Whoops. I have those two in the sun tanning like bronzing spray lotion things. I'm not really sure why I picked those up. I haven't used them at all yet, but they in the sun is my favorite scent. And, um, yeah, I have those. So we'll try to, we'll try to use those this year. This is in my project. Use it up this month. And I'm almost like, you can't even hear anything in it. I'm almost done with this. There's like maybe one use left. And I also have a shave and shower that I picked up at SAS as well. If you haven't noticed, kind of like the, the theory is that all of these things that I pick up at SAS that seem like they're like good deals, I end up kind of not having too much of a purpose for. So that's, um, that's a lesson for me. Um, but yeah, that is all of it. I will put everything back in the bin and show you guys how it looks at the very end. All right, guys, you made it to the end of the video. So... That is crazy if you stuck around through all that. I feel like, I don't know, this took me forever, but probably watching it back won't be quite as long as it took me. Um, I'm not sure also if this is quite as pleasing to the eye as it is to me, but looking at this and doing an inventory of everything really helped me kind of know what I have, know what I need to use, and organizing it in a way that is easy for me to understand is really helpful. Just to go over it one last time, directly in the middle in the lower half here, there's a little bin that's kind of hidden behind there that's a Bath and Body Works bin as well. And all of those products are the ones that I am hoping to use and finish up um, within like the next two months. Next to that, I have my February bin. So those are all of the scents that I'm going to be using and enjoying for the month of February. I have body care and hand soaps. In this bin over here, I have my bath bombs, my bath fizzies, um, my body scrubs, my shaving oils and my tanning oil things over there. So kind of just like my luxurious bath day bin. And then finally in the back, I will zoom out a little bit more. I have that weird trinket junk drawer with like the room sprays and my minis and the wallflowers over there, like I showed you guys. Those are all of my soaps. Directly in the middle are all of my body washes. Next to that, I have all of my sprays and lotions and body creams. And then on the right hand side, I call that kind of like my body care backup drawer. So those are the things that I have doubles of or things that are Tom's. So my partners um, and things that maybe just didn't quite fit as well as like those, like that weird vanilla bean lotion bottle that I stuck in there as well. So um, definitely I feel a lot better about this. It's a lot more organized and I feel like I can really face this head on in a more productive way. So if you guys watch that video, I first off apologize for that lighting and I'll try not to do nighttime shooting again. But I mean, if you guys didn't mind it, let me know. I'm curious if, if it's just in my head that I'm like, Ugh, I hate how it looks or if it wasn't too bad. Um, and if you guys enjoyed that, um, feel free to subscribe and like and comment. I love interacting with you guys. It's been so fun for me and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.